and welcome to a video brought to you by Nutrition North America. This video is for anyone who has PKU or any other rare metabolic disorder that requires a diet low in whole protein. If you've seen our video on how to read the nutrition facts table, you know that all the nutrition information, including protein, is given for a specific serving size. But did you know that the serving size is not necessarily the suggested amount of food you should eat? What if you eat more or less than a serving size? The amount you eat becomes your portion size and the amount of protein you'll get changes. It's important to calculate the amount of protein in your portion. We'll show you how to do this. Let's get started. Looking at this bag of chips, the nutrition facts table indicates that the serving size is 10 chips. The table also indicates one gram of protein. This means that these 10 chips have one gram of protein. But what if you finished your 10 chips and decided to eat 10 more? I know, this happens to a lot of us. Then the amount of protein you will get changes. Let's see how. By having another serving of 10 chips, your portion size has doubled to 20 chips. To figure out the total amount of protein you've had, simply double the grams of protein listed in the table. One gram of protein times two gives you a total of two grams of protein for 20 chips. That's all you have to do. What if you have a number of chips that isn't as simple as doubling the serving? What if you have 25 chips? Here is a simple calculation that you can use anytime to figure out how much protein is in your portion. You'll need three things. The serving size and grams of protein, both listed in the nutrition facts table, as well as the portion size you will eat. You take your portion size, or how much you're going to eat, and divide it by the serving size listed in the table. Then, multiply by the grams of protein listed in the table. This will give you the total grams of protein for the portion you eat. Coming back to our example, these 25 chips are portion size, but the nutrition facts table is written for a serving size of 10 chips. And based on the table, these 10 chips have one gram of protein. Now let's fill up the equation with this information. 25 chips divided by 10 chips equals 2.5. 2.5 times 1 gram gives you a total of 2.5 grams. This means that eating these 25 chips will give you 2.5 grams of protein. Let's look at another example, but now it's your turn to try the calculation. Here are store-bought crackers. The table shows that a serving of 8 crackers provides 2 grams of protein. But let's say you want to have 12 crackers. How much protein did that give you? Feel free to pause the video here to take your time and do the calculation. Let's give it a try and see what you found. If your answer is three, you're right. Let's go through the calculation together. Your portion size is 12 crackers, while the serving size in the table is eight. The amount of protein per serving in the table is two grams. 12 divided by eight is 1.5. 1.5 times two gives you a total of three grams of protein. Isn't that a useful trick? Here is the formula again, in case you want to jot it down. I'm sure it will come in handy and help you keep track of the amount of protein you're eating. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos on how to plan your weekly meals and how to read the nutrition facts table.